Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Karen Calico GTF in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing's based off of a Toyota Celica. Uh, seems like an interesting car. I'm interested to get into it. Let's hop in. All right, guys, starting off with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on that. Brakes as well. For the bumpers, we have front and rear options. You can go for the primary street splitter, secondary street splitter, carbon street, primary bolt-on splitter, secondary bolt-on splitter, carbon bolt-on splitter, primary arc racer diffuser, sorry, I don't know where I got diffuser from, primary arc racer splitter, secondary arc racer splitter, carbon arc racer splitter, primary twin wedges, secondary twin wedges, and carbon twin wedges. Primary bolt-on, secondary bolt-on, carbon bolt-on, primary vented, secondary vented, carbon vented, primary extended splitter, or stock. Okay, cool. There's a lot of options here. I really like that. Uh, let's go for the carbon arc race splitter. For the rear bumpers, we have the GT bumper, primary street, secondary street, carbon street, GT Mark II, Carbon GT Mark II, or the Extended Lip Bumper. Let's go for the Extended Lip, I like that. For the engine, we have Engine Block, Primary Color, Valve Covers, Secondary Color, Polished or Carbon. I want to leave it red, man, I like it red. For the Cam Cover, we can do Black, Exposed, Vernier, Pulleys, Blue, Red or Purple as well. Primary Color, Cam Belt Cover, Secondary Color, Polished or Carbon. I'm gonna probably say I'm gonna go for the blue exposed vernier pulleys. For the strut race, we can go for the polished carbon, medium polished, medium titanium, titanium, triangulated, wide titanium, large polished, sticker bomb, polished twin bar, extreme billet, strut race, or basic. Let's go for the triangulated one. I like that one. Engine tunes, all the way up, of course. For the exhaust, we have the tuner exhaust, race exhaust, dual exhaust, dual tuner, dual race, twin round exhaust, universal exhaust, box exhaust, dual universal, dual box, or stock. I'm thinking the twin round exhaust looks pretty good. Let's do that one. For the fenders, we can do primary wheel arches, Secondary or carbon. Let's go for the primary. I think it actually looks pretty good with this car Fog lights we can add rally fogs to this thing. That's actually sick. Let's do it. Why not primary rally fogs headlight covers we could put on Primary headlight covers or secondary. I don't I don't really see anything, but okay. Uh, we won't do it then I guess Hood catches we can add chrome hood catches angled hood pins latch hood pins blue, red, or gold latch hood pins. Let's add the red ones, why not? The hood, we can do a secondary stock hood, carbon stock hood, primary smooth hood, secondary and carbon smooth hood, primary scoop, secondary scoop and carbon scoop, primary vented, secondary vented, carbon vented, primary performance hood, secondary performance hood, carbon performance hood, primary low GT hood, Secondary low GT, carbon low GT, primary medium GT hood, secondary and carbon as well, primary GT hood, secondary and carbon, primary GT hood with side vents, oh my god, secondary and carbon, or stock. We're going to go for the primary GT hood with the side vents, that looks absolutely insane, I like it. For the interior, the dash, we can do a full colored interior, semi-stripped, race dash and stripped, and carbon dash and stripped. Let's go for the fully colored one, I like that. For the doors, we can do full colored door panels, aluminum door panels, carbon, trim color, par primary race door panels, aluminum race, carbon race. Let's go for the full colored door panels as well. Seats, they're all the same on all the new cars, so if you guys have seen a customization of the cars, you've already seen these seats. Um, they're, they're nothing special. I'm going to go for the uh, painted tuner seats. Steering wheels, they're all the same for the new cars, so I'm just going to quickly run through them. You guys can, you know, read it and, you know, judge which one you like. I'm going to go for the Rally Clubman. Roll cage, 
could add a street half cage, dash dodger cage, padded dash dodger, full roll cage, padded full, reinforced, or the padded reinforced cage. I don't really like roll cages, so I'm just going to leave it off. For the lights, we're going to go xenon. For the livery, we can do a thick black stripe, white thick stripe, black double race stripe, white double, tribal black halftone, tribal purple halftone, narc rally, stance andreas, keihatsu, ltd rally, ukaru rally. This is one that you have to actually reach a certain rank in the LS car meet to actually be able to put this on your car. I think that looks pretty sick though. Disruption Rally, Redwood Rally, Prolapse Rally, Zero Gas, or None. I don't know what to do for this car. I kind of like the double black race stripe. I think that's pretty clean. I think I'm going to go for that. Let's do it. Why not? For the mirrors, we can do secondary or carbon. Let's do carbon. Why not? Mud guards, we can add them to this thing. Primary, secondary, red, rubber, or carbon. Never heard of a carbon fiber mud flap before in my life, but hey, it's there. Let's actually, hmm. Let's add the secondary color mud flaps to this thing. Since it is more of a rally car, I actually will, you know, put those on it. Plate, the plate holder, we can remove the front plate, left mount or right mount it. Let's just remove it altogether. The plate, let's go yellow and black. For the respray, I don't know what color to go for with this thing. Honestly, the white looks really good, I think. Uh, however, I'm sure there's another color that probably looks good too. Maybe like a blue or something like that? Ultra blue looks pretty darn good, I have to say. Uh, I think it's a little too bright. Let's go for surf blue. That just caught my eye right there, and I actually really like that. Uh, for the secondary color, we could switch it up a bit. Uh, hmm. I think it does look good for the secondary though. Let's just let's just keep it for the secondary. Trim color. Uh, let's go white for the interior on this thing. Why not? The accent color. That's the dash uh, gauges, I guess. Uh, let's go diamond blue. That's what I've been doing on all of them today. So let's just do it. The roof. We can add a secondary stock roof, carbon stock roof, primary vent roof, secondary vent roof, carbon vent roof. Primary twin vent, secondary and carbon. Primary smooth vent roof, secondary and carbon as well. Primary box rent vent roof, secondary and carbon. Primary sports roof with vortex fins. Man, these are crazy. Primary large vent with vortex fins. Jeez, this is getting insane. Okay, let's do the primary large vent with the vortex fins. That's pretty aggressive. Next up, we got these stock skirts. We can go primary racing, secondary racing, carbon racing, primary sports, secondary and carbon as well, primary tuner, secondary tuner, carbon tuner, primary street, secondary street, carbon street, primary extension, secondary and carbon as well, primary performance, secondary performance, carbon performance, primary ridged, secondary, carbon, primary GT. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I think it's going to have to be the primary GT. It, it fits the best with the uh, with the fender extensions. For the spoiler, we can do a secondary stock wing, which actually will add traction to the car. We can do a primary ducktail, secondary ducktail, primary arrow, secondary arrow, primary GTF wing, secondary GTF, primary low-level GT wing, secondary low-level GT wing, black low-level GT wing, mid and secondary okay primary mid-level secondary mid-level black mid-level gt wing secondary and primary as well as black primary sports gt wing in primary secondary or black gt race wing or stock okay i think we're just gonna go for the primary gtf wing i like that a lot suspension we can lower this thing down let's actually do that i think it looks pretty good transmission all the way up of course the trunk, we can do a secondary trunk or a carbon trunk if we want to. I'm just going to keep it stock. I think it looks good. Turbo tuning. For the wheels, ah, uh, jeez, this is going to be a bit tough to figure out. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to go 
some endos for this thing. I think they're gonna look pretty good on it. Endo V4 dished, yeah, those look pretty clean. I like that. What color do we go for? Do we go white? Almost thinking white. I think it looks good, let's do it. Bulletproof tires, of course. Tire design, we could add the Fukaru white or the Atomic logo. I think Fukaru looks good, let's do that. Last but not least, let's tint out these windows all the way. This thing's looking pretty clean, I'm honestly pretty impressed. I didn't think it was gonna turn out this well. Let's take it down to the ground, we're gonna do a sound test and a review. All right, let's see what this thing actually sounds like. This might be the best sounding car in this whole update, I think. This thing is stanced out, it looks like, so I'm actually gonna raise it up. If you guys didn't know that, you can stance your cars now through the interaction menu. It's a great feature, I'm super happy Rockstar added it. This thing is four-wheel drive, okay. That's the first four-wheel drive car that I've customized from this update, so that's cool. Yeah, it is four-wheel drive, in fact. That's awesome, okay, very cool. Well, off the line, this thing accelerates very hard, uh, which is very nice. I thought this thing was actually going to be front-wheel drive, to be honest with you, so I'm very impressed that it's actually four-wheel drive. That is a uh, that is a very, very good thing. That's a uh, big relief for me, to be honest. Man, this thing is fast. This might actually be the fastest car I've driven from the update today. I'm not sure if it's because of the four-wheel drive, but it just it it feels way faster than all the other cars, so... That's uh, that's interesting. It handles incredibly well too. I'm very impressed with this thing. Wow. It sounds amazing too. It sounds probably better than any of the other cars in the update so far. Uh, I haven't customized all of them. I've only done about half of them right now, I think. Maybe six. Um, this thing is awesome though. It understeers a little tiny bit on the twisty section here, but it's not too bad. Uh, you, you definitely can get it to uh, oversteer if you want it to. Just give the handbrake a little tap and it'll, uh, it'll swing out on you, which is nice. Man, I am impressed with this thing. I was expecting this to be one of my least favorite cars with this update, but in fact, I'm actually discovering this thing is probably one of my favorites with this update. I actually love how it looks. I love how this thing turned out. I love how it drives, love how it sounds. This thing is just overall really, really impressive. I would highly recommend picking one of these things up if you haven't got one already, guys. This is amazing. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and go and check out all of my other videos from the DLC today. I have covered half of the cars right now. I've also done a couple little videos on the new wheels that have been added and the slamming a bit, uh, what is it called? And the stancing ability in the interaction menu. So if you're interested in any of that, go check that out on my channel. It's up right now. I'm going to be customizing the rest of the cars today as well. So go and check that out. Subscribe to not miss any of it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.